Hello, how are you doing? My name is Steve Edwards and welcome to November's video blog. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, there's just a couple quick points that I wanted to bring to your attention today. And the first one is uh, CMS Title 19 and Title 21 authorizations. Currently, uh, Sunshine, Centene, is having a problem processing those. Uh, currently, uh, if you ask for an authorization um, and the child is under four, you're going to get a, uh, a fax back or a response from them saying that authorization is not required. Uh, if you remember uh, several months ago, they changed from the patient under three to under four. That was a mistake. They went back to three. I think they made that decision trying to align with uh, early steps and found out it's under three as in two years, 364 days, um, instead of three years and 364 days. So I think in their attempt to try to align early steps with their authorization process, somebody made a policy and said under four instead of under three. So they reverted back, but the people that are doing the authorizations are still using the tool that you use that says that you don't need authorization. So, uh, and the second problem that we are having with uh, CMS, uh, Sunshine, with their authorizations is uh, you have to request authorization for the evaluation or reevaluation along with therapy. And many of the times they are leaving off the second CPT code being the eval code or being the therapy code. So we're having a fax back in some cases six times to try to get them to do what they need. So you're probably thinking, what has the EP done to, to make this happen? Um, so what we've done to try to help uh, one sunshine uh, and all the providers is we've had uh, communication with CMS. We've had a conference call. We have talked about what is happening. They've identified what is happening. And just like a lot of things, it comes down to training. Um, we are talking to provider relations, Alexandria. She is going to get with their authorizations manager and try to work all this out. But it is still not, as we speak now, it is uh, Monday. Um, the week before Thanksgiving, and it is still happening. So uh, when you get this uh, this week, um, I'm sure that it will be happening still. When it does stop happening, I will send out an alert just telling everybody, hey, this, this is rectified. So uh, if you are having problems, if you do your own authorizations, expect situations coming back with the authorization request. Um, don't take it at face value. Make sure you dig into it and send back for a correction if you need to. The second thing I need to talk to you about is next week is Thanksgiving. So that's gonna change our billing schedule a little bit. Um, EEP, in anticipation of Thanksgiving, we are gonna work Sunday uh, because it doesn't matter what week, everything gets done every week. So we are coming in an early day on Sunday to get that to happen. So if you could communicate with all of your providers and administration team to get them to close notes, we wanna close everything we can. Uh, that way we get it all billed because as you know, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving week is going to be a sh uh, shorter week and I'm sure that you are going to want your, uh, your revenue uh, after Thanksgiving. So we want to get this everything that we possibly can uh, build. So uh, take note of the authorization issue. Take note of the change in billing schedule. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Um, have a great day.